welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna, and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. Here on my channel, I do planner and planner-related videos, DIY tutorials, art and journal videos, and the occasional new release video of items that I've listed to my Etsy shop. And if that is of interest to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you hit that little notification bell, you'll always be notified of when I load a new video. Commenting, liking, and sharing does help my channel grow and would be truly appreciated. All right, so it's before work, so I have a few minutes, but I, I've been wanting to do this and I thought this might be helpful to some of you guys. Now, fortunately, I am very blessed and thankful that I am still able to work and get a paycheck. And this is what I use on a monthly basis to track my monthly bills. Now, I know some of you um, typically use the monthly overview, at least people that I watch here on YouTube, and you track it on the day that it's due. For me, that's just a bit chaotic, so I just basically list all of the credit card debt that I have, or actually any of my monthly expenses, and then from month to month, I just carry it over. It's a very basic form. It's not very fancy, but I have found it to be functional. But if for any reason um, you are scaling back on paying fixed expenses, um, you were laid off or furloughed or whatever, um, I think this might actually be a really good way to list all of your credit card debt um, and maybe even on the side here, write down phone numbers of all of your consumer debt people and then also contact them and let them know, hey, you're going through some stuff as the world is and you would like to postpone, defer, whatever you can and definitely try to get out in front of it versus just letting it happen. But the way that I use this is I've got a lot of credit cards and so this first top half is used to basically track all of the things that are going out, how much is due, things like that. But I also keep here um, the credit cards that I have paid off because I do periodically check them to make sure that they are still at a zero, that there's no annual fees or anything. And then down here I usually have just enough room to put my um, student loan information and my iTunes because that does come out twice a month and because I put this in my Happy Nietzsche what I generally do is cut this down although it is sized to fit a classic and I'll show you what I mean by that and by the time this video goes up, this will be available as a free printable on my blog. I'll have the blog post listed below so that you guys can go ahead and print this out. So I just cut around here. Again, if you wanted to put this in a classic size, um, either Happy Planner or Happy Notes, either one would work. And if you cut around, you can actually get it on the page and you can punch the side. But what I like to do, because one, it makes it more sturdy, and two, um, and I'll show you why, it's, it's kind of silly, but I'll show you why in just a second. I tape this down just really loosely I avoid the umbrellas and there it fits I don't have my happy Nietzsche next to me so I'll use this this was gifted to me by my friends Kelly and Dee and so I'll put it in my Happy Nietzsche and then I'll fold it so that it's the size of my Happy Nietzsche page. And then here is where I usually do um, a, a tape, a calculator tape of what I was paid minus all the bills, what I have remaining, and I do two of them. And in the back, I do any kind of notes that I need to, and that's why I like putting it on the 
happy notes one because there's the dots and honestly I just I think that looks so cute <laughs> but I just wanted to come on and share that with you guys again this is available on my blog I'm hoping that it can be helpful if at least to have one place to track all of the credit card debt or debt that you have as a list maker this definitely is way more functional than looking at a broad monthly overview and trying to figure out that way uh, and if you've watched any of my last year's budget videos, I actually haven't done anything budget um, this year, at least on camera, uh, you'll know that I typically pay all of my credit card debt on the 5th and then I use the paycheck that I get on the 20th to pay any of my remaining housing or other debt. So again, let me know if you find this useful. Go ahead and check out my blog post with the uh, free printable there. And as always, aloha. Thank you.